So I just looked up in the top right when it said software inter instability, and two of the things, the first two things to come up was R9. It was like R9D, but RA9, obviously. You know. You know what RA9 is. <laughs> Where is... What's her face today? And again, we just seem to appear here. This is this has got to be in our head. This has got to be some kind of conscious or something for us, because there's you can't see out of it. We just appear here randomly. There's no way that this is an actual place that we're visiting. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. <gasps> it's an umbrella that's not black. I mean, it's not an umbrella. It's like a parasol or whatever you call it. But I mean, good enough for me. It's not Everything real place. So calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Uh I found two deviants at the Eden Club. She doesn't care about personal relationships, so we'll tell her about that instead of Hank. They managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. Damn it. Or maybe she's like, she's the manifestation of my programming. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. And so she gets disappointed whenever I, I do something that isn't to, to the programming. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Yeah, okay. The fact that she knows that, she's absolutely a construct in our head. Why didn't you shoot? Too far, yes. It was too far away. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care about knocking down our relationship with her because if your she doesn't matter. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. We're breaking free. Time is running out. Storm in my mind. Something's happening, all right. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. I'm 
station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight oh. through the heart for 50 feet. Now that's the I kind of really shooting only an android could do. Probably shouldn't have done that. It was a split second we needed to get through and get this message out. And I was sure we were going to get cut off if I didn't do that. Just two employees and three <sighs> Tough decisions, but that's the point. Hostage. That's the point of the game. The Tough decisions. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay. Let's get investigating. Even though we know what happened, but oh, is it oh, Sergeant? It? Fuck. This is Special Agent Perkins from. The oh FBI. no, it isn't. Okay. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap, see? Fuck you, friend. Oh, fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Man, I'm sure that Connor's more likely to be RA-9 in the end. Pupil reflection. Oh, fuck me, really. Mitch, mismatched eyes. Yep. Spare part. Where the fuck's the other clue? Ah, there we go. Uh, registered as Marcus. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Interesting. I wonder if I my software instability wasn't so high if he'd have just mentioned the people immediately. That is interesting. But pretty sure we've never had software instability down. We've only put it up and up and up, so. Yep. Sure were. in here oh yep so he's figuring out everything that happened it's weird investigating a crime that you committed <laughs> like not Connor committed but like me the player No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Huh. That is strange. We 
restored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. It looks like the androids let the androids in. Hey, buddies. You little deviant boys. Yes, you are. Yes, you are little deviant boys. Three of the same deviant boy, apparently. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Ah. Uh. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Huh. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. yourself up maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you is it him no okay I thought Connor just figured out it was him or something you're going to be switched off we're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis you're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroyed! Okay, so the guy in the end turned his head there, so... Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Torture, probe memory, oh shit. That's probe memory. Ugh. Yep, thought so. Oh no! Oh my god. Oh, that was me that got... Oh shit! I thought I ripped something out of him. Hello. Anything? Oh, can I? Yeah, okay. Shit, this is absolutely a place that I can die, I think. Jesus Christ. Fucking thank God he didn't smash it. Come on. Oh, I'm so tense right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, what's this? Take gun. Oh, we've only got 12 seconds. Hank survival probability only 40%. Okay, well, that's no questions asked. That's what we're doing. Good 
Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd... Connor. What? No. Connor, no. No! Are you shitting me? Wait, what? What was that little fucking two second thing at the end of... The, um... I'm so confused. The dude that we left on the roof, what was that little... What? Surely he's not dead, he must, no. He must be able to be rebooted or something. Jesus. Oh, I mean, I fucking missed apparently everything. I did, I was I was in that I was holding L one for the briefing. I didn't realize I was missing shit. God damn it, man! I missed so much. <laughs> Fuck. I think this is dependent on the path you took when you were here as Marcus, though, but. No, Connor sacrificed himself for Hank. There's another outcome there. I'm going to be so mad if he can't. Oh my god. It's a skull. Surely they can reboot him or something. I will fucking cry. Connor's my favourite. Oh, of course we won't even know until later. Shit me. No, please, God, no. I mean, I'm glad... I'm glad that Hank survived, but... Surely not. Find help. Check backyard. Wait. Wait, where are we? I guess we've just moved on? Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Man. Do you think we can trust them? Oh, I fucking hope so. Choice. Man, I'm so mad right now. Connor can't be dead. There is no way. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. There's no fucking way he's dead for real. I mean... Ah, oh, surely in. not. Actually, when he died, his software instability went name? down, so... Alice. Maybe he'll be revived, but with memory reset a bit, She's and so a he won't be as unstable? We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. Mm -hmm. I want There's him to go completely unstable. Upstairs. You or can unstable. put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam. Instability. Will you show them upstairs? 
I want it to be high. That's what I'm looking for. High instability. It's been a long day at work. Okay, guys. Words are just failing me half the time today. Oh, hey. It's another edition of Who Wants to Be a Pro Reader. Can I... Alice, I swear to Christ. Okay, whatever. I guess we're not reading that. It's Christmas! Yay! I like Christmas. Christmas is good. One of the best times of the year. Right after E3, which is the best time of the year. Which is really soon. When this video goes up, it'll be... I think less than a week away? I am excited as shit. Right, uh, what are we doing in here? Here you go. Probably the first time she's had a bed for a long time. I haven't really been keeping track of the dates, so I'm not sure how long this has been exactly. I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Uh, we are sure. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Ah. Uh, Humans are... Complicated, complicated machines. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. And sometimes Marcus goes on TV and fucks things up a bit, but you know. You were not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. I swear to God, if this bitch turns out to be bad. There's something for her fever. Thank you. She looks too kind. She surely cannot be bad. Washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Aw, we're close with Luther. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I like Luther. Luther's great. I'll stay with her a while. Okay, man. Trust you. Night, Alice. Rose! Teach me how to get to Canada. Anything we want to play with? Doesn't look like it. I didn't get your name. That's because I didn't give I'm it. Kara. <laughs> this is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. After I shot the dad, but let's leave out that part. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. No, sorry to hear that. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables. Adam seems the fucking market. depressed, man. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? 
Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Very true. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. Gotta try. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Oh. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. So, you gonna help us? Please. You've gotta help us. Rose, come quickly. Who the fuck's that? Excuse me? I thought it was just you and your son. Uh, What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. RA9. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? RA9 will save us, show us the way. Shit, man. Let's let them be. Alice? I told you to go to sleep. Doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Well, I fucking understand that feeling. Take Alice outside? No. To stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I mean, no, but yes. 